Good evening. I just wanted to pop on real quick before I uh, head off to bed. I am um, just looking around the YouTubes and whatnot. Um, there are a ton of channels, namely Pepper channels, coming out with the fear mongering about uh, the situation with Iran and Israel. Now, I can't tell you whether or not you should be concerned about it, because how would I know? But I know this. I know that regardless of how much money you throw at that problem, it's still going to be a problem if it happens. In other words, one of the very first things that I see people hold up when you talk about something like nuclear war is a gas mask. And I've said this before, and it, it may sound a little bit cold, but that doesn't mean that it's untrue. You would be much better served to spend that same money that would buy a gas mask on cyanide tablets. Does that sound crazy to you? Well, how crazy would it be if I told you that there were nations that at one point have actually assigned cyanide tablets to their citizens? Why? Because honestly, that's about the most humane thing you can do. That's about the most humane way that you could go about it. Now, I'm not saying that everybody in a nation should have to do that or that that's the best course of action. But you've got these idiots on YouTube that are telling you to run out and buy gas masks, but they've never even taken a peek at how long a cartridge will last in that gas mask. Many of you, like myself, plan to bug in. At least that's the plan. And you're going to do whatever you can to try to make it work out that way. Why? Because let's be honest, for the large majority of us, myself included, bugging out is a death sentence. Right? I know I'm not in the kind of health to be able to bug out, and I, it's nothing I can reverse. I can't just go exercise. I can't just go on a diet. I'm, I'm screwed. I, uh, you know, I have to take that into an account. And a gas mask isn't going to cut it. Oh, that time? Oh, well, best case scenario, 24 hours. So, if you plan to bug in, and if you plan to ride out a nuclear apocalypse, I hope you've got a warehouse of gas mask cartridges stored back. And that was best case scenario. You're probably looking at more like two to four hours. You have to check your, your particular filter, and it depends on what it is that you're filtering out. In this case, it would be radiation. But you would be much better served. Here we go again. Watchmen, with your education, with your knowledge bit. No, no, we got to add it to the cart. We can't add knowledge to the cart. No, you can't. You can't. I don't know what to tell you. But I can tell you that there are ways that you can build your own filtration systems. You can actually build a filtration system for a relatively low cost. Hey, you know those mirror gas masks that are really nice? They're also really expensive. And you could actually build a filtration system for less that you could take a small room, a single room, and you could make it what they call a positive pressure environment. But the air that you're pulling in to create that positive air environment is filtered air from a filter that you built for less than it would cost you for a single damn gas mask that ain't going to help you pass the day unless you change the cartridge. You see where I'm going with this? Here are these channels, so-called prepper channels, are doing everything they can to get you spun up about this Iran-Israel situation. Nobody can tell you what's going to happen here. Nobody can. But they're damn well trying to tell you that World War III's tomorrow. I don't know about you, 
But I don't see anywhere in the Bible where it talks about that. Oh, hell no. Exactly. Exactly. Don't let these idiots spin you up. And don't let them get you out there spending a fortune on stuff that you'll never need or never use. Because they'll do it. Why? Well, two reasons. Some of them actually make money off the products. And others just make a bigger ego off of getting you to do something. It's disgusting. It is truly disgusting. These individuals don't want to empower you. That's what's truly sad. That's why they will never tell you to choose education, knowledge, over clicking add to cart. Because they can't profit from that in any way. Don't lose sleep over this, folks. I'm not telling you that nothing's going to happen. But I would say that the chances are better off that it's not. Why? Well, how many days have you been alive? How many of those days have you been alive involved nuclear war? Oh, really? Hmm. Well, I wouldn't worry out the rest of your days about it because it may never happen in your lifetime. Shalom.